Hello guys, Evelyn here again with another Star Wars Rainbow Loom figure. Today I have, as requested, a Han Solo. I was already kind of thinking about making him because of the whole movie and everything, but someone wanted me to make him, so I'm going to make a Han Solo. Um, he's a pretty fairly basic. He has the same head as Luke Skywalker, and then just a little bit of belt work. And other than that, there's not too much crazy after looming stuff like there was with Rex. Um... Alright, you're going to need some brown, skin color, white, black, dark blue, um, and then one silver band for the belt buckle. So, we'll get started with the head right away. So we're going to have to make the back layer of the hair before we do the rest of the head. So, to do that, we have our first two diagonal pairs of brown bands, and then we have two rows of brown bands. And then, instead of using double bands, we're going to switch to some single bands. And then we're going to do another row with only single bands. And then we'll do our kind of up to the center diagonal ones. So this gives a little bit more longer hair rather than just kind of like a straight, whatever. Alright, and then we're going to have to put a cap band in the center here, and I'm only going to wrap it around three times. And we're also going to need a crossover band there and there. Alright, so we're going to loom everything to these pins. We're not going to loom the last row. Um, so we're going to come under our cap band and grab our first diagonal band, and then our second diagonal band, and then we're going to come back and grab our first vertical band, and then our pair of bands, and then we'll just leave it like that. Then we'll come back down to the corner and loom up one, and then our pair. And then we'll come back down to this corner, if you can see, and then we'll loom up one, and then our double stitch. Alright, so we're going to stop and leave it like that. And the other thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take this cap band, pull it off, and we're going to have to pull it down another pin. That's so that we can slide it onto the bottom of the neck. So now we're going to have to place the face on top. So on top of the stitches that we just loomed, we're going to put another row of skin color bands. And then we're going to outline it just like the normal face. So don't come all the way down to where the brown is. You can actually lift these two corner stitches up if you want, so you don't get confused. And then we'll close off the face like normal. And then we'll take, oops, sorry. And then we'll place down a neck just as normal. And then we're going to have to come under the bottom of our neck and we're going to have to grab that cap band from the front and we're going to pull it onto that neck stitch. And so all that's doing is it's attaching this back piece of hair to the back of his neck. So that's that cap band right there. And that's just keeping it from flopping around everywhere. And then we'll put our eyes on. So they're going to go across the second pins down just like normal. And then we'll split it in the middle. And I got it on the first try. And we're going to bring it back around to the center pin there. Alrighty. So you guys don't have to do this because you probably haven't placed down your body already. But I have. So I'm going to have to make it look like I didn't put it on top. So, I should have to here. And the next thing we're going to place down is our two white shoulder um, stitches. So those are going to come down, just like with a normal figure. And then you're going to place a single skin color pair coming down the center. I know it's kind of hard to see the difference there, but there you go. 
And so once you get your diagonal white bands and your pair of, and your single, what am I saying, your, your skin color sti stitch, we're going to have three black stitches coming down on each side, two white stitches coming down, a row of blue or pant color stitches, and then our diagonal blue bands to close off the body. And then underneath that, we'll do one more stitch of blue, and then we're going to have to put the legs on. Our legs are a basic double band chain. Um, we have our black cap band, and then four black stitches, and then two blue stitches. If you need help learning how to stitch on your hook, I have a video called How to Read Basic Figure Diagrams, something like that, where you can see how to make them. And we're also going to have to make the arms, and the arms are a single skin color cap band, and then five white stitches. Alrighty, and so we're going to have to do a little bit for the belt. So around this pin here, so it's kind of above our blue, it's where our blue and our white overlap. We're going to have to take our silver band, and we're going to wrap it around the pin four times. Kind of like a cat band, but in the middle of the body. And we're also, also going to take two brown bands and just set them on that pin. Cool. And then on his, our left side, his right side, we're going to lift up this blue stitch here, which is on top of a black one, and we're going to place down a single brown band underneath that stitch. So we're going to use that later, but for now it's going to have to hang out there. And I missed one. And then you can put your stitch back on top of it. Cool. And then we can put crossover bands across the body. I'm using black, but you could use white or clear if you wanted. Doesn't particularly matter, except you can kind of see them a little bit. So we're going to put two there, and then I'm going to put this one only on these two pins because we're going to have to do something with this pin before we can put a crossover band on it. So for looming, we're going to have to come under our leg and then loom that blue stitch forward, and I'll do that on both sides, so we're going to come under our leg and loom that stitch forward, and then come under that stitch and loom the diagonal band to the center. And we're going to do that same thing on the other side. And then I'm going to loom this one up the side. And I'm also going to come back here and loom this one forward. And then what we're going to do is once we get that stitch on the pin, we're going to take our single blue band and pull it completely around that pin. And then we're going to take those top two um, from that stitch again and pull our crossover band underneath. So we've got this band around and our crossover band in the middle. Alrighty, so the next goofy stitch we're going to take our, we're going to have to come in the center and you're going to have to push two stitches back to find those bottom two, which you can move forward. And then, if you want, you can pull your crossover band forward for now. But we're going to have to pull those two brown bands, along with the silver band, completely forward onto the front of the pin. And then you can pull your crossover band all the way back. This is going to look a little goofy for the moment with these two hanging up front, but we'll flip them around the back of the body and they'll be just fine. And then you can move the rest of it forward. I'm going to save the skin color bands until I get these white bands on top, but don't forget to do them too. 
because I think with the layering it looks a bit normal, more normal. So I get the white ones up, and then I'm going to loom the last of the center bands. And then you can come underneath all these and loom your neck ones forward. And then only grabbing skin color bands, you're going to have to loom the front of the face. Very carefully, these ones can be kind of tricky to find the right ones, but make sure you're, oops, daisy, you're getting those nice teardrop shapes. So once you get your face loomed, you can come underneath the two stitches and grab those bottom brown bands and pull all them forward. I keep hitting my camera with my head and it's not really working. Alright, and then last but not least are diagonal ones, and I just broke one, but I'm just going to leave it. And then a tie off. Oops, easy. Pull everything through. Slip knot. And then I just hold it in my finger till I get everything else off. I did it again. Super exciting pulling things off. Alright, I'm gonna give that knot a little bit of a tug and ignore my broken. There we go. Alrighty, give him a little bit of a straighten out, pulling on the tops of the shoulders to push the arms down. Um, you can hide that top loop if you want to. And then for the belt, you've got these two really funky looking ones sticking out the front. You're going to want to pull those down around the legs. Pull those legs through them, however you think about it. I just got interrupted, but we're good now. Alright, and then I like to give those belt ones a little bit of a pull out. And there we go. Alrighty, so this one, if you want to, you can leave it like that. But I know in the actual movies, it kind of comes down and ties around his legs. I don't know what you call it, but it does. So what I do is I put my hook through it, and then I pull another brown band through, and then I slip knot that to it, and then you can take the second one, and I just twist it twice around the leg and slide it up, then straighten it out again, and then it looks like it actually is supposed to. But you could just leave it to the side or tie it down or however you wanted to do it. Alright, so other than shaping the feet and tucking in the end, that is your finished Han Solo. Um, I hope you enjoyed him, and if you want a Chewbacca for him, I have a video for that, so be sure to hunt that down. Um, see what other, check out what other videos I have, like, subscribe, you know, all that fun stuff that you hear all the time. Anyway, well, I hope you enjoyed. Have a good rest of your day.